we came together as a bunch of immigrant and refugee youth newcomer uh, with different experiences from different backgrounds to structure a conference where we will get to share our experiences our, about what it is like to be a newcomer in Canada, in British Columbia specifically. It's been a long process, interesting process, but also a very rewarding process to see that we are finally getting the chance as newcomer youth to be at the same level as the policymakers, and we are gonna get a chance to tell them how their policies are affecting our everyday life. BC's representative for children and youth, this first youth summit with immigrant and refugee youth means a lot to me. I think it's an amazing opportunity to hear directly the voices of immigrant and refugee youth on whether or not we're doing enough to understand their situation, to meet their needs, and to make sure that they're fully included in all parts of British Columbia society. Well, I don't think we'd be able to do this without the youth advisory team. They're amazing. And look at the experience, the communities they come from, the backgrounds they come from, the passion. And those voices, we have so much to learn from those voices. So it's, it's a really great thing to hear them. And I think others are going to be invigorated like I am hearing them. It gives opportunities for you to speak out more, share their own opinion. If it wasn't for this program, I would have nobody to share my opinion. I joined this program because I think we have rights and we have we have needs and someone should hear us and yeah, maybe took care of us a little bit. I think it's important to address uh, exclusion and discrimination and most of uh, immigrants and refugees face that and uh, youth face uh, a lot of challenges, not only the ones that any other immigrant face, but also uh, being a teenager and like coming to a new school and having to learn the language and uh, feeling alienated. Culture shock is a big one, um, and exclusion in so many levels, from your identity not being valued for these feelings of belonging and getting lost and whether you're from here or you're from there. What I notice from my own experience and from the youth that I work with is the experience of exclusion. Yeah, so based on language or being a different culture or ethnicity. And then the way the migration process splits up families and youth find themselves sometimes being their, uh, the head of families. What I hope that comes out from this program is to see some real decision made and uh, yeah and we really have someone to consider us as an important uh, figures in the society. Oh well, I hope uh, the decision makers actually not only listen to us because most of the time we go to places we say we want youth voice, youth voice. They listen but there is nothing done so I want some implementation to be done. What I'm trying to get from this program is like learn how to stop discrimination so when I suffer from it or other I see other suffer from it know how to, know what to do know how to help them. Something that I think would be amazing to come out of this would be for youth to speak about their experiences and offer suggestions about what they think will make things more supportive, whether it's in their school or in their community, and that some of those things be implemented.